हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडेज क्वेश्चन अ पार्टिकल इज एग्जीक्यूटिंग सिंपल हारमोनिक मोशन विद ए टाइम पीरियड टी एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल जीरो इट इज एट इट्स पोजिशन ऑफ इक्वलीब्रियम द काइनेटिक एनर्जी टाइम ग्राफ ऑफ द पार्टिकल विल लुक लाइक सो दीज आर फोर ग्राफ्स सो वी नो द इक्वेशन फॉर द योर डिसप्लेसमेंट दैट इज एक्स फ्रॉम दैट वी आर गोइंग टू वी आर गोइंग टू डेरीवेट इट बेसिकली एंड फाइंड द वॉसिटी and then we are going to use the formula for kinetic energy and try to find out what will be the you can say velocity of that uh, particle at that moment okay. so let us start by using the displacement equation so we can say that position of the particle in shm and that position is given by the equation x is equal to or rather we can say x of t is equal to a sin of 2 pi t multiplied by small t where a is the amplitude and t is the capital t rather is the time period and small t is the time and from this we are going to find out the velocity by derivating this so you can see velocity of the particle it is given as v of t and that v of t will be equal to d of dt of xt and this will be equal to d of dt and we have a sin of 2 pi t multiplied by small t and we get that v of t will be equal to a multiplied by 2 pi by t and we get this as cos of 2 pi t multiplied by small t so we got the equation for the velocity and now we can find out the kinetic energy of the particle kinetic energy of the particle so we get kinetic energy at time t will be equal to half m velocity square substituting value of uh, velocity we get this is a 2 pi t and we have here cos of 2 pi t small t and it's whole square so therefore we get kinetic energy is equal to half a sorry half m a square 4 pi square upon t square and this is cos square 2 pi t multiplied by small t so from here we can clearly see that our kinetic energy is proportional to the cosine square so you can say kinetic energy is proportional to cos square 2 pi upon t therefore this kinetic energy is going to oscillate between 0 and a maximum value kinetic energy will oscillate between 0 and maximum value so let us find out when this cosine function will be maximum and we are going to find out when it will be minimum so 
we can see maximum at when this function 2 pi upon t small t is equal to 1 and we can see minimum at when cosine 2 pi t is equal to 0 and one by one we are going to find out for various value so first of all let us find out for when t is 0 so you can say for t is equal to 0 our cosine function will be cos of 0 will be equal to 1 so I can say my kinetic energy is maximum and for t is equal to pi by 4 my this kinetic energy will be 0 that is minimum similarly for next we can say that our pi by 4 next is our pi by 2 so you can say for t is equal to pi by 2 this kinetic energy is maximum and we can say for t is equal to 3 pi by 4 kinetic energy will be equal to 0 and finally we can say that for t is equal to capital T that is the time period our kinetic energy is maximum so we found out the key points the various values for which the kinetic energy will be maximum as well as for the kinetic energy will be our you can say zero so therefore if we see the options available to us we can clearly see that the option is first of all we need to find out that at t is equal to 0 the kinetic energy is maximum so we have only two options b and c at time t is equal to 0 the kinetic energy is maximum so option a and option d are not possible and next is we find out you can say uh, next key point where it will be maximum okay so you can say at t by 2 it is maximum okay. so the option available to us is either b or d but in b we see that at time uh, at t by 2 there is a minimum whereas at in part c at t by 2 it is maximum okay so from here we can say that at it will be your t by 2 it will be a maximum point sorry t by 2 it will be maximum point and once again at capital t it is going to be maximum okay so from here we can see that at this capital t it is maximum and t by 2 it is minimum okay so therefore we can clearly see that there is a minute difference between b and c here also at t capital t rather it is showing a maximum and here also in b it is showing as a showing at a maximum the only difference will be at the previous points like t by 4 and t by 2 okay. so from here we can see that first minima is uh, taking place at t by 4 whereas in this case it is showing that first minima is taking as t by 2 okay. so option number c is the correct option therefore we can say that option c is correct so this completes the question thank you